This video is sponsored by Re Technical Training International. So today let's take a look at the new WE Model G17 and G19 MOS pistol. And in the near future, there will also be a G27 and G34 MOS variant. So the new MOS pistol comes in black and tan and they were sponsored to me by Retechnical. Although they are sponsoring me the pistol, I will not become biased and say only good things about them. If I found any issues, I will still point them out. So MOS stands for Modular Optic System. Now in the box, what you get is you get a bunch of screws and two hex key. You get four different adapter plates, four different brands optics, and then you get a set of wise up iron sights. It also comes with two back grip panels and also a dummy red dot which I've installed on the G17. So if you don't want to mount any optics, you can use the original plates. And if you do want to mount a different optics, you can mount one of the four adapters in here. When you're changing to different adapters, make sure you use the shoulder set of screws so that it will, the screw will lay flat on the adapters. Now currently, I do not have any pistol red dot, so I can't really test out the fitting on the adapters. But different brands might have different specs, so you may may not have to fiddle around with the plate. So this gun features a ambidextrous light release which you can release it on the left or right side but this only features in the new Gen 5G series and beside the trigger safety there's also a manual safety under the serial plates you just have to push it down to get the safety lock and you can pop out this pin for switching different back panels and on the bottom grip it is magwell ready so you can put on different magwell there are two major changes with the MOS WE pistol. One of them is the cylinder in the bullback unit. Since it has a optic cut, so they have to make an oval shape of the cylinder in order to fit in the support structure. And the second thing that they change is the gas lips here. You can see in the older models, it is more of a rectangle shape, whereas the newer model it is a square shape. Now, if you want to purchase the newer magazine, there is a label that says red dot on the magazine box and the square shape helps redirect the gas more efficiently into the cylinder here whereas the wider rectangle with the older models you might have gas spilling elsewhere instead of going all the way into the cylinder to achieve the blowback so I did do a comparison chrono test on the newer and older WE magazine on both the G17 and G19 new and old magazine the old one starts off a little bit higher in power but then it quickly drops in a linear slope downward whereas the newer MOS magazine the FPS stays pretty consistent and with a tiny deviation and also when I'm trying the old magazine in the pistol a few times I couldn't finish off every single BB so if you do decide to get the MOS make sure you get their new magazine also as for accuracy tests on both the G17 and G19 at 15 meters we get about a full hand size with a few flyers and I have also done my usual 3 magazine test on the G17 models and they perform very well and slide lock on every single mag good things about the new MOS pistol. The new design magazine makes this gun shoot a more consistent FPS from the first to last BBs and it already came with a optic ready slide which saved you some money and they also came with a wise up iron sight if you want to do a coordinates with the red dot. So with all the goodies I did found two issues with the MOS pistol. One of them is the trigger safety it does not always activate so right now currently you can see I can still pull the trigger without applying my finger at the center. So this trigger safety doesn't always pop up 
which is not too big of an issue in SF. And the second issue that I have found is the slide stop cut on left and right side is not exactly in the same position. The, the one on the right side on both on the G17 and 19 is a little bit cut backward. So when I'm shooting near the end of the magazine, if I'm doing rapid fire, which lowers the FPS severely and you do not have enough power near the end to make the slide go all the way back. Sometimes it will catch on the white side only. And on the left side, it's not over the slide lock place yet. And when that happens, you can really do a slide release. It's not too big of a deal because I usually do a power stroke. And with the arm out, I can wreck the slide easily. But I shot around 25 to 30 max and it happens only like once or twice. And in the end, I also add their new compensator. So with the compensator and the dummy armor, I do not feel any slowdown in the cycling, and it still shoots just as well. So let's do a quick disassemble. So you pull back the slide and you push this downward and you can get the slide off and you take off the spring guide and it has a little tip here that goes into the hole in here so you can just tilt the outer barrel and then you can pull off the inner barrel chamber system and if you unscrew the two screws you can change the hot buckings and the barrel and the hot adjustment is by this wheel and here, this is the oval shape that I was talking about. So the left and right downward shape is to fit in the two skeleton structure which holds the two screw holes here. And also I find it a little bit annoying to line up the tip to the hole when I'm assembling the spring guy. But you're not doing this often so I guess it's okay. So I quite enjoy shooting the WE G17 and G19 MOS pistol. The new magazine design really helps with the FPS consistency and it comes with an optic ready slide with 4 different adapters for different brands of Red Dot. The accuracy can be a bit better but that's something that's easy to upgrade and the issue with the finger safety is not deadly in airsoft and the slide release issue doesn't happen often but when it does you can always power stroke to solve the problem. So this is it for the unboxing review of the WE G17 and G19 MOS pistol. Stay safe and I'll see you again next time.